looking at the Frida Kahlo self-portrait with cropped hair. This painting was made soon after her divorce to Diego Rivera in 1944. There is no doubt that the self-portrait sends a message about her feelings regarding their separation. Yes, that is true. Frida is showing that she is completely letting go of her ties to femininity in this painting more so than before. What makes you think that? Well, the first thing that makes me say that is the fact that she is wearing an oversized suit. Right, most likely belonging to her oversized ex-husband. Exactly what I was thinking. She probably changed her clothing attire from her traditional Mexican wear to, suit, to this suit because she knew that Diego Rivera fancied her dresses. She no longer cared for his preferences and wanted that to be known. What actually makes the self-portrait so interesting is that it is so different from her others. Her long hair and beautiful dresses were so evident in the others, and here she resembles a man. Wow, when she stated before that her paintings are the most frank expression of herself, she wasn't kidding. Definitely. She always painted images which represented what she was feeling at her core. Coming back to things that stand out in this picture, I noticed that she had cut off all of her hair. Could that also be ta her taking a stance against Diego's preferences? It certainly seems to be the reason behind her cutting her hair, especially after you read the words inscripted on the wall behind her. It reads, See, if I loved you, it was for your hair. Now you're bald. I don't like you anymore. Hmm. In every way, Frida is going against the conformities of women in society and at the same time breaking away from the features about her that were so appealing to Diego Rivera. She was showing her freedom from the norms of looking like a woman and the need to belong to a man. So, to put it simply, she was killing two birds with one stone. Precisely. We are looking at a work done by the famous pseudo-anonymous UK-based graffiti artist Bainsky called Girl with a Balloon. This piece of art was found in 2002 in the South Bank of London on a wall of a stairway. What's so interesting about Bainsky's art is that it's most often seen from a speeding car or as you're casually walking along. What makes his art stand out, however, are the bold statements that he's trying to pass along in his art. Yes. Oftentimes, with street art, the main purpose is to send a message. It would seem with Bainsky, he makes art so that it can be understood at a glance. Yes, exactly. Bainsky's art is simple yet powerful, and this piece is a perfect example of this. Okay, so let's talk about this piece. Girl with a Balloon, the name obviously given by the viewers, not Bingsky himself. This is such an iconic image, one of his most famous ones, correct? Yes. In fact, this piece is so well known that Justin Bieber, you might have heard of him, got it recently tattooed on his forearm. Wow. Maybe he thought that he, she would have been a believer if she was alive and around today. <laughs> So, speaking of the girl, what can we say she represents? It seems to me that there is a deeper meaning than just a little girl who has lost her balloon. Well, one thing that is really cool about Bainsky's art is that he leaves room in his art for interpretation. In this piece, there are three key elements. The heart-shaped balloon, the little girl, and the message behind her that reads, There is always hope. The balloon is the only part of the image that is in color, so her eyes are immediately drawn to it. What does it represent? Some have said it is symbolic of our dreams and aspirations. It's interesting because you can't really tell if the little girl has lost her balloon or if she has let it go. Could this represent something that has been lost, such as her loss of innocence perhaps, or loss of childhood? Or rather, is she releasing the balloon as a way of asking the world to accept it as her innocent gift? The artist does not give us answers, but rather the viewer comes up with the answers themselves. You're right, and I think that's why Bainsky is so popular. He gives people the opportunity to interpret and relate to his art. This work is really about hope. As I said before, the message, there is always hope, is written behind the little girl. This image evokes the idea that hope is essential. It gives the viewer hope, and that, I believe, was Bainsky's, Bainsky's purpose in making this piece of art.